Hello. Hello, Mr. Friedman. How are you today? How are you doing? Where am I talking you to? Uh, my name is Jean-François Briard. I am from Metal Temple. Cool. Nice to meet you. Yeah, me too, really. Um, we are very pleased to have you here uh, at Metal Temple. Thank you for having us. Yeah, my pleasure. Yes, okay. Uh, first question. How did you get approached by pr Prosthetic Records? Well, actually, they um, just contacted me out of the blue one time. They said, um, you know, if you were to do something in America, there are a lot of people who are interested in hearing it. And um, I honestly hadn't thought about it because I had been in Japan for so long that uh, I'd just been so incredibly busy with things in Japan and and uh, I knew that I wouldn't have enough time or energy to do much work outside of Japan. Mm -hmm. um, so I didn't really follow what was happening in America, the music scene or anything like that. And the people from Prosthetic said, look, there are a lot of new bands who are naming you as an influence and, and metal's really popular now. And you know, there are a lot of people in interested in your guitar playing and we'd really like to do something with you if you're interested in and they kind of got me interested into it and um they got you they, intrigued yes they got me intrigued i mean they were very enthusiastic and um they were the first record company that really showed me enthusiasm outside of japan and, and i'm like wow they, this sounds like very honest like they're honestly interested in what i was doing and uh so I was very happy about that, and and uh, they came all the way to Japan to have a meeting with my record company here, so uh, I could tell that they were serious, and they released a whole bunch of my Japan-only albums in America, and then we released uh, my first all-original um, worldwide album, Inferno. So Prosthetic has just been a fantastic record company for me, and... Uh, they're really helping me get this U.S. tour happening, and it's just a great thing. Yeah, it's very great. Okay, uh, second question. Uh, what were the emotions you wanted to transmit through your latest offering, Inferno? I had a strong cacophony vibe while listening to it. Is this somewhat a revisiting of some sort? Not really like a, a revisiting, but... Um, inspired? I, not even inspired, but... I'll explain in this way. Um, when I decided to make an album that was not just for Japan, when I decided to make an album that was for the entire world, I had to be honest with myself. What does everybody want to hear Marty Friedman do? And um, I know what they really want. They want me to play aggressive, crazy, heavy wild intense music I, that that's what I knew for sure so mm -hmm. um, I had to keep that in mind you know there's a lot of things that I like to do I like a lot more uh, avant-garde music and strange um, eclectic um, traditional music and, and really modern music but I tried to keep Inferno in a place where I know what everybody wants me to do and I also enjoy it myself so not only do I have to please everybody but I had to please myself so it took a lot of effort to be honest with myself about that but it was worth it because the record did really well and everybody seems to like it yeah it's fantastic thank you okay uh, third question speaking of your band Cacophony uh, uh, your ex-bandmate and best friend Jason Baker was unfortunately diagnosed diagnosis with ALS some years uh, uh, some years after after you formed the band. I'd like to know how did this event affect you in your life? Wow, good question. Um, probably, you know, the biggest influence or the biggest inspiration in my life has got to be Jason because I don't know anybody personally who has a stronger spirit and has overcome such a huge hurdle in his life more than Jason. I mean, I really can't think of anybody who even comes close. And so when I see what Jason does every day 
and how he overcomes his um, situation and continues to create fantastic music. Um, I get so inspired and it makes me want to work harder. So uh, I would have to say Jason. Yeah, of course. He's extremely courageous. You said it. Yep. Yep. Okay. Uh, fourth question. Uh, you composed a song with Jason since then, uh, the song Horrors on your newest album, Inferno. Uh, do you plan on doing more projects with him? Yeah, as a matter of fact, um, I, I pro I'm not even probably supposed to talk about this, but... Uh, oh, oh, exclusivity. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's just say yes. Let's just say le yes and leave it at that. Okay. Uh, he's working on some amazing things, and... Um, I'll help him in any way I can, but uh, I, I don't know how much I'm allowed to talk about. <laughs> okay, okay, we'll leave it uh, at that then. Okay, uh, in the Inferno video, the, uh, uh, in the videos of your new album Inferno, there are uh, heavy Japanese themes. Uh, there, there is one in particular with the, the schoolgirl running around that really perplexed me. Can you explain us more about it and the Japanese show Full Power Hill it's inspired upon? I tried to inform myself, but I, I just don't get it so far. <laughs> ah, well, um, it's so simple. I mean, sometimes it's hard to get the simple things, but um, all it is is girls running up a hill. That's it. That's it. There's nothing more. I, 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 I tried to understand some deeper meaning. There's something no. else happening, but it's only that. That's it. I mean, uh, okay. I love it. I mean, uh, uh, I think everybody likes to see girls who are breathing heavily after <laughs> they get hard. Everybody likes that, right? Mm -hmm. um, I like that. Um, the, the video is based on a television show in Japan um, called Zen Ryokuzaka. And that program, all it is is girls running up a hill. That's the entire show. Um, you got a girl. The girl runs up a hill. And when she's finished, she's like breathing, ha, 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 like that. And uh, that's it. And um, wow. I, I think it's a great, I think it's a genius show. And I thought it would be really funny to uh, put my music to the back of that concept And, um, it's a crazy so, concept, yeah. It's a crazy concept, and and uh, the video is actually copying the the TV show exactly. So each camera angle, each sh camera shot, each frame is just exactly like the television program. So uh, if you know the show in Japan, you will get it immediately. But for people outside of Japan, some people won't get it right away. Or they'll look for a deep meaning in it, and and other people will just enjoy girls running and uh, <laughs> it's really that simple okay uh, <clears throat> what would you suggest to a new American fan looking to hear more content in your solo career beside your newest album well anything really um, I always tend to think that my latest work is by far the best um, it has to be or else you know why keep doing if you can't if you can't top what you've done before. Mm -hmm. But the, so if, if you're a new fan, first of all, thank you very much. But I would go back one at a time. Like uh, my the album that was just before Inferno is called Tokyo Jukebox 2, which uh, I, I'm extremely pleased with. And then I've got an album called Bad DNA and Tokyo Jukebox. And they're all uh, available worldwide via prosthetic records. Thanks to Prosthetic. And, um, yeah, I think, you know, they're all kind of similar to Inferno and and uh, very intense and uh, lots of guitar playing for sure. Excellent. Okay. Um, that's that's some great, great place to start. Uh, so thanks for the suggestions. Uh, how did moving to Japan affected you as a guitar player and as a person in general? Um, well, as a guitar player, big time, because I've done so many crazy things in Japan, everything from all kinds of different television programs to radio to every possible media thing, that my brain is working much, much more than it did like when I was a teenager or in my 20s. 
So when you have that kind of stimulation, it really helps you as a musician as well. So uh, um, that automatically helps my guitar playing. And I've played so much, so many different kinds of music since I've been here. Aside from, of course, my own solo music, but playing with every other possible artist, so challenging, and and they're doing so many strange collaborations that um, my guitar playing has grown maybe 20 times faster than it did before I moved here, just because I'm forced to do so many different things. Wow. So it, it's really good for my musicianship, and as a person, you know, it's always good to have other cultures that you can tap into. As you know, you speak at least two languages, so you know that uh, when you speak another language, it gives you a even deeper understanding of humans in general, and uh, you can talk more about different things with more interesting topics. Absolutely. Um, as a big celebrity in Japan, What is your favorite TV show in which you, star, uh, you starred in? Oh, wow. That, uh, that, that's impossible. Uh, <laughs> I've done about 700 different television programs here. Uh, anything, any episode in particular of something that you, you are particularly proud of? Uh, well, I think um, playing with the Tokyo Philharmonic Orchestra was a big thing for me to do on TV here and I've done it three times, and it's it's always a big thrill. Um, but uh, it's really hard to say. I, I've enjoyed all of it. It's been a lot of extreme hard work, but uh, it's really helped me uh, as far as uh, using my brain more than just uh, playing guitar and recording and touring. You know, it actually makes it more exciting to go in and record. It makes it more exciting to go and play live. So. Uh, I am really glad that I have the opportunity. Hey, you know what? We're going to have to uh, end it here because... Uh, oh, really? You, yes, is starting. Ah, I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, well, we'll, uh, we'll leave it at this then.